Good Wednesday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this April 12th. We're starting this morning with a few leftover clouds in wake of the cold front, the showers, and a few thunderstorms we had yesterday. Everything pretty much came off as predicted. Uh, Some locations picking up a quarter to a half inch of rain. There was at least a couple of places that picked up over an inch of rain, and it was needed. We were starting to get uh, a little concerned about getting behind or getting off pace as far as where we need to be for this point in the year. Right now, uh, we picked up 35 hundredths of an inch of rain officially at the Bowling Green Airport yesterday. So that puts us at about an inch and a quarter now for the month of April, but we're still behind by about a quarter inch. Not bad. Just still a little bit of a deficit, and our year-to-date deficit is now at 1.85. So we were a little bit over two inches behind, so that at least improved uh, things just a little bit, but we could use a little more rain. I don't like it when it starts to get about two and a half to three inches behind. Then that means, you know, we're going to have a hard time catching up unless we get a, a really big system coming through. So as long as we keep it kind of in this uh, area, I think we'll be fine. Uh, We do have more rain chances, though, coming. Unfortunately, it appears uh, the next best rain chance is going to come on Easter Sunday. Mm -hmm. And that's why I cautioned you yesterday, if you listened to the podcast, to maybe, uh, if you haven't, uh, maybe an outing for Easter weekend, a cookout or doing something outdoors, Easter egg hunt, You may want to schedule it for Saturday. It's going to be the best day out of the weekend. All right, the numbers from yesterday, 75 was the the official high temperature at the Bowling Green Airport. That happened around 1230 yesterday afternoon. Six degrees, warmer than the average of 69. 56 was our low temperature, 12 degrees warmer than the average low of 44. One year ago, we had a high of 71 and a low of 49 back in 2016. And yesterday, we got a break from the high pollen count because of the rain. (laughs) Well, today, it's back with a vengeance. Uh, Very high tree pollen today at a 10.6. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Even though we're going to get the sunny weather back, It's going to be nice and warm, the pollen count off the charts. Becoming mostly sunny after a few leftover clouds, especially along and east of I-65 and maybe even a little patchy fog this morning, but that will clear off. We'll see a nice day, warm, 76. Tonight, clear, mild, a low of 52 for Thursday. Continued sunny, even warmer. We're calling for a high at 82 degrees. Then a warm front makes its way into the area for Good Friday. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds much of the day and a high at 83. I bumped it up another degree or two. There is, uh, though, a 20% chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm, mainly during the afternoon hours on Friday with the arrival of that warm front. That front keeps us warm, mix of sun and clouds, breezy, And 83 again for Saturday. Again, that is going to be your best day to do something outdoors Saturday. Because Sunday, here comes the rain, scattered showers and thunderstorms becoming more likely now with a 60% chance. We've raised it up just a bit with that next cold front coming in, a high at 79 It looks like you may be okay for Easter sunrise services. It may be cloudy, but looks like shower activity may just hold off until that's done and we get on into the late morning, midday, and afternoon hours. That's the better chance of getting rained on. Then by Monday, behind the front, not much of a change, 76, with a chance of early morning showers, then becoming partly cloudy. And then yet another warm front makes its way into Tuesday. 30% chance of a scattered shower, thunderstorm, and 77 all next week. Well above average temperatures continue a good 10 to 12 degrees above average 70s. 
all throughout, and our average high right now is 69. So the warm air does look to continue. A couple of rain chances, which we need. Wish it wasn't happening on Easter Sunday, but, you know, it is what it is. All right, that will do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 5.30 on AM Kentucky, 11 a.m. on midday, streaming live to the WBKO app and WBKO.com. Later this afternoon, starting at 3, join me for my radio show at Classic Hits, Sam 100.7, between 3 and 7 p.m. And also check out BowlingGreenSam.com.